Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This short video clip will simply talk about food chains and food webs. So prepare yourselves and get ready to learn. Alright guys, here we go. A food chain presents how each living thing gets its food. It shows who is eating who. Let us take a quick review on the short film we just watched. The sun gives off solar energy and light energy, which are needed in the fruit bearing process of a certain plant via photosynthesis. This poor little plant serves as the primary producer in the food chain. It was later on consumed by a mouse, which makes the mouse the primary consumer. Let us say that the bird in the short film is an eagle. The seagull spotted the mouse from above and it tried to chase the mouse for food. The eagle successfully flew towards the mouse and consumed it. This now makes the eagle the secondary consumer in a food chain. Now, in this scenario, the secondary consumer, the eagle, was devoured by crocodile. This now makes the crocodile the tertiary consumer, since it ate the secondary consumer. Meanwhile, a man with a hunting rifle, hiding behind the bushes, sees the crocodile exit from the pond. He then takes down the tertiary consumer, the crocodile, with his rifle. The man heats up and cooks the crocodile. He decides to eat it. He becomes the quaternary consumer, since he ate the crocodile, which is the tertiary consumer. While feasting on the crocodile, he spots an insect slowly flying towards him. It was too late for the man to realize that the flying insect could poison him to death. Although it was not shown in the film what happened after his death, let's just say that there will soon be microorganisms that will decompose the body of the man. This is the explanation on how the food chain was formed in the short film. A food web consists of several food chains interconnected to each other. 
It shows that different paths, plants, and animals are connected. Take a look at this picture. This is very complex. Look at the mouse. It can be eaten by the wild cat also. Where it may be can be eaten by the snake. The primary producer, the green plant can either be eaten by the goat or the rabbit. This kind of complex food chains are called food webs as they are interconnected like a spider web. So, does the giraffe get all the energy from the plant which the plant received from the sun? Or does the lion get all the energy from the giraffe which the giraffe got from the plant? The answer is no. Actually, 90% energy is lost when it passes on part of the food chain to another. Like 90% energy is lost when the giraffe eats the plant. Similarly, 90% is lost between the lion and the giraffe. Take a look at this pyramid. It is called the energy pyramid. This shows that the energy available becomes lesser and lesser as we move on to the top of the food chain. To understand the energy pyramid, let us assume that the plant received 1000 units of energy from the sun. When the giraffe eats it, 90% of energy is lost so the giraffe gets only 100 units of energy. When the lion eats the giraffe, 90% of energy is again lost, so the lion receives only 10 units of energy from the giraffe. And here, we end this short presentation about food chain and food web, plus the energy pyramid. Thank you for watching this short video clip. I hope you have learned something. And I also hope it was worth your precious time. Good day. Ladies and gentlemen.